Hi, it's Cookie here, and in this mini tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a spline mask with a cloner object. But you can do things like this very simple animation. Right, this time I'm going to start with a platonic object. So I'm getting a bit bored with cubes. Change it into an octahedron. Take the size down. And while that's highlighted, hold down the Alt key, go to Clone Up, and change to a grid array. And I'm going to change that to 50 on the X, 30 on the Y, 1 on the Z, make that 10,000, make that 6,000. That will give us our um, array of uh, clones and uh, for now I'm just going to turn that off so we can see what we're doing and now we're going to make the spline mask I'm going to start with the circle and we'll cut a square out of the circle so we'll take that I'm going to rotate it and move it on the X more than that. That'll do nicely. And now we're going to grab this spline mask, which is under the modeling objects. There it is. And put the uh, two splines into the spline mask. And you can see it's uh, made a union of them, so it comes out as one spline, which is quite nice. But it works exactly the same as a normal um, object bool object. So you've got all the options here in the mode. And what we want to do is to subtract B, subtract A. B being the circle and obviously A being the square. Which will give us our sort of Pac-Man shape thing. Now we need to put that into an extrude nerve. So again, hold down Alt and release. There you go. I'm going to make that quite a bit larger. Z, and I'm going to move it forward on the Z axis by half of its width so that when we turn the cloner back on, it's going straight through the middle of it. Close those up. Now, with the uh, extrude nerves highlighted, if we go up and again to the modeling objects, hold down the Alt key choose a bool, then we can just drop the cloner on there. And we've got the same controls as we had with the um, spline mask, but obviously this is with the bool object. So well, I'm going to leave it on A subtract B, because for what we're doing, that's what we want it to look like. Put some colour on there so we can uh, see it more clearly. And that's how it works. Now, the advantage of uh, using the spline mask is that uh, rather than just creating a spline to the shape you want, is obviously both of these elements remain uh, editable so that you can slide your or one of your splines around or animate it, which is what I did on that little uh, clip I showed you earlier. I just animated the size of the uh, square, put a fillet on it as well, because obviously these remain. Um, live objects so you can uh, change any of the uh, settings that you want and uh, animate them and that's how you do it hope you have fun with that see you soon, bye then